All right, so I'm going to give you one more example on how to rationalize the denominator, only this time I'm going to incorporate both variables and numbers, which I didn't show you in class. So what I'd like you to do is instead of rationalizing the denominator by saying, okay, I need to rationalize and make this a perfect cube, like multiply by 81 or something, that, that's incredibly big. Instead of that, think of this as something slightly different. Change that number into a power. Or in other words, change it into a number to some power. So instead of doing this cube root of 81, no, 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 we don't, we don't want to deal with that. Instead, think of this as the cube root of 2x, no problem, over the cube root of, you're going to change 9 or whatever number you have into some number raised to some power. So for instance, 9 you can write as 3 squared. Realize that that is still 9. I'm just writing that as a power. And x squared stays the same. Now when you rationalize it, what we're going to be trying to get is a cube root of, I want this to the third power, I want this to the third power, because I know every time I have a power matching the root, I'm going to simplify that. So in other words, I want 3 cubed, just like I want x cubed. That's what I want, right? Because I want my cube and my cube root to match up. I want my cube and my cube root there to match up as well. So then you think about, instead of a large number like 81 making that, I don't know even what that is, it's a huge number. We don't even want something that big. We want something very simple that we can cross out. That's why we write this instead of 9 as 3 squared. So what does it take to multiply 3 squared and get 3 cubed? That's just going to be 3 to the first power. 3 squared times 3 gives you 3 cubed x squared times x to the first gives you x cubed. So this is the expression we need to multiply. That's a lot better than multiplying by the cube root of 81. We don't want that at all. That would be a bad thing to do. This can be way too large on our numerator. Of course, our numerator must match our denominator. We're going to have the same cube root, cube root here, cube root here. So we're going to get a cube root of 6x squared over the cube root of 3 cubed, x cubed. Those simplify. We get the cube root of 6x squared all over 3x. Cross that out, you get a 3. Cross this out, you get an x. That leaves us with 3x. So the whole idea when you're dealing with numbers and variables, treat those numbers as a base to some power just like you would a variable. Then you're multiplying by that number to an appropriate power. So here we have 3 to the second. Multiply by 3 to the first. That makes 3 to the third, which you can cross out. Don't deal with them as the numbers that they, they are. Deal with them as a base to an exponent, just like you would a variable, and things become a little bit simpler. This is your final answer, and that's the last example I'll do.